In our previous episodes of Fine Cuisine, Jerry Flynn from Hot Table visited places in Bakkan province and met with local people to learn more about their special cuisine. One of the big reasons that you have so many people traveling out of their home country to see how another culture lives. And I think the way that people eat and drink and cook, that's a very good insight into their values and their lives, really. It's not something I ever expected to do while working for Hot Table. I usually spend a lot of time sat in an air-conditioned office uh, with a laptop or on the phone. But A, it's exciting, and B, it's the reason that you get out of your comfort zone to see these sort of things and to learn about new people and different ways of living. It's more in harmony with, with nature, which you know, is, is not really something that we do, certainly not back home and even in Hanoi. Our lives dependent on knowing the surrounding environment and living in harmony with nature. Deep inside, we still have a longing to reconnect with the natural world that shaped our lives, languages, and cultures. Let's follow Jerry in his green journey in Bakkan province. Tourism has greatly contributed to economic prosperity, but the effects on the environment are also big issues here in Vietnam. Ba Bay is a prime example of the possibility for achieving harmony between man and his environment. Bins and Save the Earth signs encourage tourists and locals alike to protect their bountiful ecosystem. The people quite understand because Babe National Park and Babe Lake, this is income for them, this is life of them, and they know the values of the area. It provides for them the money and provides them the life. I think they know how to protect it. The people here, they are also helping the tourists to understand about how to protect. So more and more people, they come in, they traveling, they um, save the rabbit, and then after that, they will drop it at the bean. Example like that. Before, they just mocking and dropping, or the drinking and dropping. But now, you see, more clean. One man striving to keep the balance here is Nguyen Thun Ling of Mr. Ling's Adventures. His brand of ecotourism aims to alter the perception of what it means to travel to such heart-stopping, beautiful spots as Ba Bay. Nowadays, tourists also want to stay and do that. Than just stay in the, some uh, public area, in the, some famous destination, going not for drinks, not for the sleeping. They're going to want to learn something for more of the literature. Or sometimes, uh, every see like the people, they go to jungle. Of course, jungle life sometimes is quite fun. Those people, they still want to do that. Instead of they staying here, we are uh, camping in the jungle, we cooking, to fighting the way, the feeling, the sleeping, you enjoy the light, you, you hear the birds uh, singing. Here in Babe, the people is, is still do that. In his journey in Babe, Jerry had this amazing experience with a Thai local, Chiu Van Toy, who took him on his expedition to the forest. All right. They're completely independent. They can exist peacefully with nature in ways that for people in Hanoi with McDonald's or you know, street foods, we can't live like that. How long have you been in Vietnam? Tell me if I'll find some bamboo soup for okay. cook, right? Over here. Yeah. What, what do they look like? Down here. Like uh, around here. Look the same, this one, but down. See? Ah, okay, right. So that's sort of a husk. But this one is dry. That Maybe one's... I won't cut it. Be careful the hand. Ah, it's okay. It's very hard, yeah, for something for cooking. Mm. A lot of uh, bamboo, but not many bamboo soup. 
Oh. Look at the same. Oh, it's good. We have oh, one. Sweet. Okay, yeah. so this is what we're looking for. Yeah. How tall? 40 meters. Growing up in the UK, bamboo shoots were a food Jerry sometimes saw in the supermarket. And aside from a passing acknowledgement that they were related yeah. to the tall green stalks that pandas eat, he never really put much thought into how they're grown or prepared. Uh, that doesn't look great. If you're traveling around Babylon here, you see everyone sell the bamboo, like the bamboo suit, but mm. they're dry and uh, they can sell for the and as they grow, come here traveling, and they can buy and keep long. It's long, take a long time. And you, uh, to dry bamboo, they can cook with uh, some bone, pig, cook the soup. It's mm. very good. The way that Angdoi take things from nature is only taking what you need from nature. I think that's how they're able to maintain that delicate balance between living for themselves, but living entirely off the land. Um, you know, they don't overfish, they don't overfarm. They, they take what they need and nature repays them by letting them continue to do that. So now, Toy is yes. hacking up the tree with the hope that we can put the bamboo shoots inside the tree and then we'll put that on a fire and cook it. So that's why we need the younger ones, so it still has moisture inside. Be careful with the bamboo for that. That's, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'll move over here. Toy carefully cut the bamboo section in the middle of the tree because it's young and has some water inside. The rest will be left for drying and then collected by local people for domestic use. With Ang Toy going out into the forest, that was another terrifying experience. Uh, that was another day where I feel quite far <laughs> away from the office. Yeah, if I, if I kill myself here, I think my girlfriend will kill me again. Yeah. In such an expedition like this, local people just bring along rice and salt. Other kinds of foods are available in the forest, from drinks to meat or vegetables. Toy and Jerry are looking for a special kind of leaf called Zhao Go Lam. You can put inside the bamboo tooth and, we, and with the water and we boil. Okay. And we cook like a soup. And normally, someone that you did live for make tea. For the people living in the northern provinces of Vietnam, this vine has long been a familiar food. It's also a valuable traditional medicine. So this grows all over Babe, yeah. or just in this area? Is it here inside area? And uh, and behind the mountain, behind the mountain, we have a lot. Using two bamboo tubes to cook, Toy instructed Jerry how to cook like a Tay local. Oh, full? Yeah. Oh, you put so too much. I think it's full. It's okay. Yeah. All right. So you, if, uh, if you need, so you can put it near the room fire here. Okay. Yep, you, you. Really, you should try this at home if it's possible. This type of cooking is fun when you are on an outing with your family or friends. Set up the tubes to cook on your campfire everyone is enjoying. The nice aroma of the bamboo fusing with your food makes cooking in bamboo tubes ever so special. Is this a traditional meal, a sort of traditional method of cooking it this way? Is this a meat like them? It's my, grand, my grandfather, when he go to the jungle and uh, just cut 
It's a bamboo tube and cooking like this for cooking. So yeah. this is like a survival yeah. sort of tactic. But do you often cook like this normally or is this kind of a special occasion? If we go to working on the jungle or the father house, so we often do like this. Okay. Yeah. This cooking like this very naturally. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can do it completely reliant on nature. Being able to live a green lifestyle is important for our environment. Take a moment to look into the products that Toy has given us today. He took full advantage of the bamboo to create a complete meal, from bamboo steamers to bowls and chopsticks. And so now everything is already, so it's we can start for eating. Okie dokie. Yeah. This, this is our bowl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from the bamboo, everything from the bamboo. Chopstick. Yeah, the chopsticks yeah. are looking good. That's yeah. solid work. Toy used nice. banana leaves to make a green table for us and put the food on top. He took bamboo shoots and zao ko lam soup out of the tubes and put yeah, yeah. them in the bamboo so bowl. Bit to start with. Even though it's been boiling in the bamboo for maybe 15, 20 minutes, it's still really crunchy, really fresh, and definitely retained a lot of the flavor. We're eating at a green table, it's completely natural, and you know, using bamboo to eat bamboo that's been cooked in bamboo. The guys traditionally here have been completely self-sufficient, able to rely on nature for just about everything. It's fantastic. Wildlife warmly welcomes everyone. However, for Jerry, nature is not always interesting and amazing. Sometimes it's fatiguing, especially when he has to take primitive trips into the jungle. Let's see what challenges him the most. We were somewhere deep in the heart of Nari District, Bakkan Province, following Huang Hu Van, a 60-year-old no local. He is going to teach Jerry the traditional way of catching stone crabs. Cua đỏ này thì mùa mưa nó mới ra tìm ăn. Khi có nước mới nó mới ra ăn. Giống cua này là nó sẽ ăn run dễ, mà nó sẽ nấp ở dưới những hòn đá. Ta phải đi vừa đi vừa soi, vừa tìm. Armed with little more than a strange array of lighting devices, a bucket, and the bare hands, Van led the way into the water. Đi soi cua là ta phải đi ngược dòng, nước khỏi bị đục. Ta đi ở dưới lên, còn nếu đi ở trên xuống là đục là ta không nhìn thấy cua. Ôi, lên nhanh lên, đây rồi, thấy một con rồi. Ôi, đây, thì đi nha, ôi. The stone crabs vary in size and color looking like little more than oddly sentient grey pebbles. Lots of these crabs are easy to overlook, but those larger, red-tinged stone crabs, which are the tastiest in this stream, are now harder to find. After about one hour, the bucket teemed with life. Van nimbly clambered up the river bank, yanking dead branches off trees to get the blaze going. 
Thời xưa tôi còn trẻ là tôi cũng đi sông suối như thế này ở cả tháng rồi chỉ khi nào hết gạo mới về mà khi đi chỉ cần muối thôi Đấy, thức ăn là ta kiếm ở trong rừng đêm ngủ ở trong rừng Đấy, đi đến đâu là ta đốt lửa đến đấy mỗi lần là ở một khu mỗi lần ở một chỗ nhưng mà khu này hết hết cua rồi thì ta lại đi chỗ khác dân tộc của tôi là dân tộc nùng là có cái thói quen Đấy là đi ngao du diêu canh du cư ở trong rừng. Đấy. Năm nay chuyển ở đây, sang năm chuyển nơi khác là ta cứ sẵn à, sẵn bắt, Đấy, cho nên là à, trở thành một cái thói quen rồi. Tôi thích vào rừng là đôi khi là vào rừng này là tư tưởng nó thoải mái, sẵn bắt, không khí trong lành. Đôi lúc ở ngoài thì à, ồn ào, bon chen lắm, ta cũng không thích, ta thích thoải mái ở trong rừng này độc lập, Đấy, tự do tự săn tự bắt tự nấu ăn ấy da bò đi bây giờ là hết bò đã cho cô vào it's totally worth it absolutely I mean uh, the crabs that we caught fresh crab and uh, Chu Van his his cooking skills are good Um, getting a pot set up with a fire underneath it, just lodged between two rocks on a riverbank. Some locally sourced noodles, a few herbs, some chilies. Job done. Boil the uh, crabs up. I've never even eaten crab that I've caught myself before, so it is um, definitely an eye-opening experience into what goes into getting a crab from the water to a plate. I'm gone, man. Bye. On another green table were different kinds of local leaves that Van was quickly setting up. Jerry again wondered about a life of just sitting at a desk in an air-conditioned office. These traditional methods are exhausting and at odds with our current mode of living for convenience. But there is something in eating food that you caught yourself that you'll never find in a big city. We were going deep in Dongsa commune of Nari district, following Van and his sidekick, Nguyen Van Huyen, on one of their larvae hunting expeditions going through perilous terrain, not just because it's their job. This isn't about money. It's the call of nature. We wade further upstream, slipping about like figure skaters on a racetrack, but Van and Huyen have the skills of mountain goats as they constantly climbed with small sticks in their hands. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 26 and this is ridiculously hard for me. These guys, I don't know how old they are, but they are machines. This is ridiculous. Tháng 3 là mình chặt ở đây Xong từng đoạn là mình cứ tạo vết Để con nhộng nó đẻ vào, trứng vào Hoặc là bổ đôi ra cũng được Vết vào Để thanh Tạo nhộng Of course, there was more forest to go But finally, after what felt like centuries, we stopped at a dead tree. Đây là cây uh, của vườn nhà thôi. Ừ. Vì vậy là các uh, gia đình được quản lý và tự trồng tự quản lý. Và các cây này ấy thì nó mọc nó lớn rất nhanh, bà con cũng trồng rất dễ. Vì vậy là cũng mang lại cái nguồn 
thu nhập cải thiện đời sống cho bà con góp cho bà con một tí đấy It wasn't a convenient place to stop. It was slanted down close to 90 degrees, but according to Hu Yen, it was a natural hotspot for larvae. Having learned from personal experience how to know if there are larvae inside the tree trunk or not, Hu Yen put his ear close to the trunk to hear. If he hears the rustle in the trunk, that means the bugs are eating inside. Đây là cây này là có cũng tương đối rồi. Cẩn thận mắt nhanh nhá. Nó bắn ra tác đi. Hacking away at the dead tree, Hu Yan wedged the head of the axe in between the split of the bark and opened a hefty, fleshy wound in the dead log. I wonder if these things can bite. Oh, they have got little teeth, haven't they? That's uh, that's disgusting. Nó sẽ ăn khi nào ăn mà ăn hết cảm thấy là xung quanh này là nó thành bột hết. Là mỗi một cây là nó sẽ được vài cân. Thành ra là nó ăn là rất nhiều nhộng thì nó phải ăn như này. Nó khi nào nó phải ăn hết cho nên thành bột đi. Một cái mỏ là toàn bột toàn bột. Đấy. Straight in there. Well, that's the mother, so she gets to live. Oh, what is that? So this, this is actually a pretty small haul. They would ordinarily get a lot more of these delightful little fellas out of a tree, but this one is just a small one. So how, how old are these ones? Con nhỏ này thì nó rơi khoảng độ tầm 2-3 ngày. Con to này là bây giờ được khoảng độ tầm 10-15 ngày. While Van was busy instructing Jerry on how to skewer these hulking, yellow worms, they feel like soft, cooked pasta shells. Today's not a lucky day for Van and Huyen, because normally they can get five to six kilograms. Even some of the bigger ones have about 10 kilograms of worms. At local market, they can sell for 200,000 Vietnam dong per kilo. Following this trip, I've definitely learned that Vietnam is not just Hanoi, it is not just Ha Long Bay or Hoi An or Ho Chi Minh City. It's, it's, it's not just the, the tourist destinations or the big cities. There are lives that we would never know happening all around in this country. And I think even for Vietnamese people, some of the things that we've seen on this trip are things that they perhaps wouldn't think about. It's certainly for me, as a foreigner, it's, it's something I might have only been dimly aware of at best. Some of the things that I've seen and seen some of the lifestyles that I've witnessed since coming out to Bakkan. In his journey to Bakkan, 
Jerry Flynn had many unforgettable experiences enjoying the scenery, local people, and cuisine. For Jerry, traveling is not only to experience life, but also to gain more knowledge about a country and a culture.